welcome. My name is Prue, or Prue LaRue, and today is the amazing, ever so talented Annette's Makeup Corner's birthday. I feel like my channel has been dedicated to her lately, so I figured why not continue it? So recently I was in a giant collab called Clabo Nation for the Blush Tribe Paulina palette, and in that collab, I don't know, I just like, I had, I was inspired. So I was feeling very motivated. I messaged um, that group and a lot of people were like, this is too late notice Prue. It's only a week before, you can't do it. That's fine. But some amazing talented people, I think there's like eight or so people who are able to, are gonna join us on this collab. So we are uploading on September 18th, Annette's birthday, happy birthday. I'm not going to sing to you. I can't sing it, we'll ruin your birthday. But I just wanna let you know how much you are loved in this community and spread that love. And I thought we could all recreate an Annette's makeup corner look. This is also a bit like, I've just been wanting to do one of these looks. So the look I'm going to create, it's like very style inspired, but I have been dying to try Annette's winged liner effect that she does because it looks just like amazing on her and I feel like I, I feel like it'll be fine so I'm gonna go in with oh, I've got my Fenty eye primer here and I'm gonna put this down and then start putting some eyeshadows on and a collab video just went up recently of Cher Jonathan, Amazon Tammy and Annette using the Glaminatrix Sandra Rose palette. My lovely friend Cher who was in said collab lent me her Certify Affinity 2 palette to have a play with. Make sure to go check her out. I'll make sure she's linked below and I thought it would be fun. I think I'm going to need to use her Annette's recent Glaminatrix post that she put up because using the Sandra Rose palette but I'm not using that palette because I really I need to play with this palette. Um as my inspo because it's a very blue green look and I thought it would be fun. So first off I'm going to dip into Shazad which is this dark green down here and just put that all through my crease nice and light. So I'm so grateful to the girls who are doing this collab as well. I'll have them linked down below and make sure to go check out their looks. I am so grateful that they were willing to do this on such short notice. And I'm excited. I'm gonna go in a bit in with Alba, the shade in the middle, then it comes back. So I'm gonna use the same shade as Shazad and go underneath my eye. All right, and then going into this liner thing that Annette does that is just stunning. I'm going to look at the picture again. All right, so she really brings it up quite high. I'm gonna use my Fenty Fly Liner for this and I'm going to start lining from here. Oh man, I'm like crying. What went on? I have a proper tear. I'm not crying on purpose. My eye is just like really runny. I don't know if it's the eyeshadow. I think it's settled down. I've never had my eye water so much. I'm wondering what's going on. All right. Well, let's just get this tissue and dab underneath and hopefully it clears up. Oh yeah. So my shadow definitely got into my eye and I think that's made it run. And then she brings it across. And then fills it in. I just tried to straighten that line and came out with something a bit crazier. Oh, I think I kind of got it a little bit. Alright, I don't think I'm ever going to get liner like super even but my eyes are pretty hooded so it's kind of hidden <laughs> I think let's try going in again with Shazad and underneath the eye just to fix up what we lost and then I feel like it'd be fun to cut the crease 
and match it up to give us some really bada bing bada boom to this look so i'm gonna go with my anastasia Billy hills primer i'm gonna line it on the bottom of my lid and got it all over my lashes oh i got it underneath my lashes this got real messy real quick I just want it. Oh. Oh. My poor eye. Okay. Do not get that primer in your eye. Oh, because that sting. Look at the sting is wow. I don't know, my eyes usually aren't that sensitive. And I I feel like Maybe normally I would sort of go, all right, I'm just going to break now. But I don't really have, you know, I mean, this was short notice for me too. I don't really have time to not finish through. And it is fading. I've cleaned it out. I've topped it up. I think we're better. Then I feel like, we'll see how my girl did it. All right, she's got going into blue and then green on the inner corner. So let's go. I feel like I really do want to try out shoe hand this shade here and I feel like it could look pretty cool on the like a bit of the black wing and coming in um okay it looks cool on the black part but it looks atrocious as the shade whoa that's bad oh like it's fun when it's duochromey but it just looks like a poo shade from my angle um, I guess I best just like match it up, but I wouldn't use this color again Unless it was over black because that looks cool and then it goes to poo. Then going into a more blue shimmer Let's yeah, let's use Aftab This one up here same brush because this one's picking it up quite nicely And bring that in Pretty shade. I feel like I need to put, I'm going to put pen that is hard to read the shades, Shuhab, which is the poo shade, um, all over that liner, just because I've started it and it looks, I do like the look. And then let's cover up the shade that looks like poo to me with this blue. Oh, that's better. Right, I'm a bit happier now. Clean off that brush again. Eye is feeling a lot more settled. And I feel like a uh, green shimmer. Let's go into Blau. A little bit of mix in between the two here. I really want to use Shiraz. Which I'm sorry, but Shiraz is wine and it's red. I reject that it's called this. I guess it means something else though. And I'm going to use Shiraz here and bring this up. Oh, yeah. Then there is this beautiful duochrome down here called Chape, which I've just washed on my hand and it's like a white blue thing going up. And I'm going to bring this up to meet that other one and then I want it on the inner corner as well. All right, and then going on with this nice soft brush, I'm going to go back to Shazad. I'm just trying to fix this up a little bit where it got really wet. Alright, and then I feel like because this is an Annette inspired look, we need to go in with a little bit of glitter. So I've already upset my eyes quite a bit. And I know Annette is sensitive to this as well, but I have the Disco Daydream from Urban Decay Liner. And I'm hoping as long as I'm using it to line, we're not going to have uh, any problems. <laughs> because it does sting. All right, and then, is it time? I feel like if Annette was here, she would be telling me, yes, Brie, do it. And that's because I'm gonna pull out the dotting tools that I talked about the other day. And let's do some dots. Now, dots aren't something that I, am confident in doing but should we just put like a couple in the inner corner yeah let's see what colors i've got to play with 
three of my more intense ones. I'm thinking the blue or the green. And maybe should I use this as liner today? Or should I not do any liner? I just have that part that the primer is attacked on my lashes. Mm. I feel like primer free. Let's do some like just small dots. Just see where this goes. So this is Jeffree Star in Tiffany. And I know I went a little bit crazy with the glitter and this probably isn't helping. That's all I'm going to do. Let's do mascara or oh, waterline. How can I forget waterline? Um, I'm feeling, what is this, teaspoon? Teaspoon. From Colourpop on the waterline. I'm going to do this eye first today. And um, bad girl bang. Mascara. Let's see if I can get that from the top. Nope, I just ruined it. We'll see how we can go about fixing what I've done. I just managed to get mascara right in this spot. I mean, I got rid of the mascara. Oh, does that kind of work? Maybe. And then let's dab, dab, dab. And I don't really know how to fix what's going on here. Let's just try going on with more mascara. I'm happy and my eyes are a bit upset, so I'm going to stop. So here is the sad eye and the happier eye. Alright. That felt like a thing. Just like a thing. Anyway. How do I feel about this look? I feel like it's fun. Super fun. And I feel like that's what Annette inspires us all to do. Happy birthday. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you do something amazing for your birthday and know that we all love you. Go check out and watch everyone else's videos who's in this collab. I'd love to see you guys spread that support and love around for, you know, our smaller beauty tubers. Thank you so much for watching.